Man, I can't imagine what it's like to be a Chad, bro. It must feel fucking amazing. Like today, um, like I told you guys, I got a haircut yesterday. And today I went to, uh, I went to like a, get, get like, you know, a smoke shop to buy some wraps or whatever. And there were two people, like, there were two girls attending. And this guy came up to me and he, he started attending me or whatever. And as I'm there kind of like looking at what I want to get, looking at, you know, what I'm going to get. He, I, I, I like, I like noticed from the side of my eye that this girl's just staring at me. This cashier's just staring at me hard. She's not even attending me or nothing. And I, I like looked up. Like, I was looking up, but then I looked over towards her. And she was just staring at me with this, like, flirtatious, like, smile, bro. Like, obviously, it could have been just anything, but the, the look was just very flirtatious. And I, like, stared at her, and then I stared at her in her eyes, and then she just kept staring at me. And then she smiled at me with this, like, flirtatious little smile or whatever. And I'm like, damn, bro, like, damn, I got a, got a look of, of acceptance type shit, you know? Like, damn fuck it you know and obviously that didn't lead to nothing i didn't even speak to her or anything but that's got me thinking man a chat's life man that shit was be heaven on earth you know nothing but positive approval like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sit here and say that the girl wanted anything with me could have just been a you know just she could have just been staring at me but the look was very flirtatious looking and when i looked at her she like kept staring at me in the eyes and she smiled you know and it's like that's what a Chad must get every day, all day from every girl, you know. And you know, it's just it's it's insane, man. It must fucking feel amazing to be a Chad. You know? Like that one look made me made my confidence go up, you know. And, uh, you know, after that, you know, she like after that that look from her, I just I felt more confident. I felt I felt more, you know. I was kind of like. I hadn't gotten a haircut in like two months, guys. Two, three months. So I had a big ass raccoon on my head, right? And it's just like, you know, the first day that I have a, a clean cut, I get a positive look like that. You know, I get a po- you know positive reinforcement like that, a flirtatious look. And it's like, you know, damn, bro. You know, these chads, man, their life must be fucking easy mode just everyday positive reinforcement positive looks flirtatious looks you know and obviously i'm not good looking enough to have her make an advance on me but you know their their life the chad's life must be heaven you know and it's almost like when you have a haircut even if you're an ugly fuck like me it's almost like you become more acceptable you become more you know, women feel more at ease around you. Because after that, after I left the smoke shop or whatever, I went to go grocery shopping because I hadn't gone grocery shopping in like two weeks. So I went to go grocery shopping. And as I'm grocery shopping, like, women that usually would run away from me, they're around me. They're they're standing right next to me, you know, poking their butt, at, poking their butt near me. Like, there was this, like, you know, young girl and she was wearing, like a shirt like a long shirt and you know i was just staring at her legs because you know i'm a horny fuck and then she turns around and she kind of like shakes her butt a little bit you know like it's it's insane dude it's like a haircut i'm not saying a haircut will, will do this for anybody but and i'm not even saying she was doing that specifically towards me but it's like since i had a haircut people feel more comfortable to be to be themselves around me i get i don't know if that makes any type of sense like usually when i have you know no haircut when i have the raccoon on my head for the most part women are very closed up closed up body language um they they you know they're not comfortable around me and shit and you know this girl man she literally like she was standing like two feet from my fucking crotch and then she does a little a little butt shake and I'm just, I'm just like glued on her cheeks, you know. I'm like looking at the way the, the shirt, the shirt, like cuffs the butt crack, you know. And it's like, like damn, bro, you know. All right, you know. Like usually, if I would have looked ugly as hell, no haircut, not looking good or nothing, 
you know, I know damn well that girl would have probably ran away from me. But hey, man, you know, she let a little shake. She gave me a little bit of eye candy, you know. And, you know, it's like when you get a haircut, I mean, I guess, you know, it doesn't work for everybody. But for me, like those first few days after I got a haircut, I get a lot more attention. And I get a lot more positive reinforcement, you know. And that's me being, you know, a lovely guy. So I can't even imagine what a Chad was being, you know, a fresh. Imagine, oh man, imagine being a fucking Chad, you know? Like, I would never not get a haircut if I was a Chad. I'd be fresh all the time. Because it's like, you know, it's kind of like when you're a, a, a sub-5 inkwell or some shit like me, like a TFL or like me, like, I could go two months without getting a haircut because it's, you know, it doesn't really do anything for me, you know? But I can't even imagine what it must like must be like to be a fucking Chad, dude. And what else, man? There was a, I don't know, I, I felt like I got, I was getting a lot more play, you know, today because of the haircut and shit. And, you know, like, there was this Asian girl, this Asian woman, and she just kept following me. You know, she just kept following me, bro. You know, like, I was, um, I was, like, near the meat department, and then, like, I was like checking my grocery list and I kept moving. I kept like moving to make people space and she kept following me, dude. She kept following me. Like I walk here, she she walked there. I walked here, I walked there. It's almost like she wanted me to, you know, maybe approach her or take note, you know, and it's like, damn bro. You know, I can't imagine what it must be like to be a Chad, man. That shit must be heaven. You know, every day you get this type of treatment and shit. You know? Like a few days ago too, when I, I didn't have a haircut, I was just walking around. I've, since I've been kind of losing weight a little bit, slowly but surely I'm losing some weight, you know, getting a little bit more lean and stuff. I was walking my dog and there was this, uh, there was this Asian lady that I noticed from the corner of my eye. And she was like putting her Tesla to charge. And as I'm walking past her, I could kind of notice from the side of my eye that she like looks up to look at me. And I'm literally like three houses down and she yells at me, bro. She's like, she's like, she's like, I like your dog. You know, I was like, I was like, thank you. And then she starts speaking to me. She's like, oh, I have, I have a, a, a black Labrador, you know, and, and just like the way she was speaking to me, it was almost like if she wanted me to speak more to her, it was almost like she wanted me to approach her because it, it wasn't just like a comment that you say to someone passing. It was like she was trying to initiate conversation. So I definitely, you know, I'm not saying this led to anything. I mean, I haven't had sex in a bit, but it's almost like when you do a little bit of looks maxing, such as, you know, weight loss or haircuts and that type of stuff, you know, you do kind of open up your person to at least be more, to have more pleasantries, bro. You know, like, you know, ever since I started, like, this kind of like this mini weight loss journey, People have been more pleasant towards me, especially women. They've been a lot more pleasant towards me. Um, hasn't led to anything yet, obviously. But, you know, I definitely recommend any of you guys to try to do some type of looks maxing, bro. You know, try to do some looks maxing because, you know, we need any little bit of positive reinforcement we could get, bro. You know, that girl shaking that, that butt to me today, bro. Like, you know, I enjoyed that. And then she had she, her perfume smelled so good, so it was her perfume plus a little butt, a butt jiggle and like two feet in front of me. And it's like, I'll take that. You know, I'll take that. I'm so s- starved that I'll take just seeing some ass shake from me. You know. And the cashier was so friendly to me at the at the grocery store. I'm not saying that she wants it or anything, but. Just me being a little bit more cleaned up, a little bit less fat. You know, it's been, it's been, I've been getting a little bit better treatment. You know, like I'd never want to, I never want to just be a fucking ugly bastard. 100%, you know, I need to keep at least a haircut now. You know, two months with no haircut is pretty much unacceptable, and kind of near the end of the two months with the haircut, with that haircut, I was getting, you know, nothing. But you know this. You know, just this first day with this haircut, you know, I, I feel like I've already gotten a lot better reinforcement.
enforcement. You know, that girl at the at the shop, the smoke shop. You know, you can't replicate that look. Cause she was attending somebody. She was attending this like a uh, this like black guy or whatever. And she like that guy was pretty much invisible to her as she was attending him and she was just looking over at me. And she was just looking at me with this like smile, bro, this like flirtatious, you know, smile and then I look up at her, we make eye contact. And she's just smiling. She smiles even harder at me. You know, she gives me this kind of like seductive look. And it's like, all right, you know, I'll take that. I'm like I said, I'm so starved. I have nothing. I have no women in my life. I have no woman I text. I have no woman that do anything with me. That I'm so starved that I'm cool. I'm thankful for even getting a smile, bro. I'm cool, and then I'm thankful with even just getting seeing a little bit of ass shake in front of my in front of my shit. You know, like uh, some of you guys say things like, you know, no, women don't even look at me. Women don't even, you know, women act like I'm invisible. Man, I fucking get you, dude. I fucking get you. And it's fucking, you know, when you're at that point, you'll take anything, man. You'll take a smile. You'll take a wave. You'll take a hello. You'll take a fucking hug. You'll take anything, man. So... You know, this is this kind of has been this kind of, you know, today was kind of like a positive reinforcement day. Like, hey, man, keep it up. Keep getting haircuts. Keep trying to lose weight. You know, keep keep uh, trying to improve yourself because, hey, man, you know, you at least get some better reinforcement. Like, I'm not even talking about getting sex or a girlfriend or, or a vagina. No, I'm talking, you know, I'm so starved of anything that. I'm willing to self-improve just to get some smiles, you know, just to get some hugs, just to get a hello, just to get a, a positive treatment at the grocery store, you know, get a smile from the cashier. I'm willing to self-improve just for that, you know, I'm willing to look smacks just for that because I'm so, I'm such a TFL fuck that, man, it's been a while since somebody smiled at me, you know, and that Asian lady when I was walking my dog, bro, like, you know, if I ever see her again, you know, she just kind of threw herself at, at, at me type shit. You know, I was already gone. And then she just started, like, trying to get conversation going with me and stuff. And, you know, it was almost like she was approaching me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why, you know, being fat, man, like, I'm still fat, but I've been losing. And I'm skinnier than I was a month ago. You know, being fat, sui- suicide, bro. It's a suicide sentence. It's, it's a death sentence. You know, all you guys out there that are a little bit fat and shit, fat or whatever, fat fucks, y'all need to fucking, you know, get on doing some OMAD or y'all need to get on doing some, you know, some two meal a day or some type of keto or some shit because ever since I lost weight a little bit, the treatment I've been getting has been a lot better been a lot bit, a lot more positive and you know, those flirtatious looks from that girl today, man, it really bumped up my ego, you know? Like, I'm sure you guys could notice right now I'm a lot more positive. I ain't yelling. I ain't, you know, cursing. I ain't fucking hollering at the earth, cursing at the wind. Because it's like, I got some positive reinforcement today. You know, no wonder these chads are so positive all the time. No wonder these chads are always telling you this blue pill shit. Because for them, it's that. For them, every day it's beautiful. For them, every day it's positive. For them, every day it's full of, 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 of attention and adoration from women. And, you know, I've had one day where I've gotten one little smile. And I'm feeling so much more positive, you know. So I can't even imagine what the guys that are hella always negative must be. They must get no looks. They must get nothing. And it's like that. You know, that shit must suck. You know, that shit must suck. And... And I've been there, man. It sucks. You know, when you don't get no looks, when you don't get nothing, every cashier you deal with uh, got a big-ass, ugly fucking frown on her face. You know, you can't help but be bitter. And it's just so sad. It's kind of sad, like, how one smirk, one little smile, one little flirtatious smile from a decent-looking girl will make your fucking mood a hundred times better, man. You know, women, female attention, female validation is so fucking important for a man. You know, like right now, from, you know, today, like women didn't run away from me. Women didn't, you know, turn around and do the dash as soon as they see me. You know, that to me is a win. 
that to me is, is, is a good day. You know, I had a few women that were near me, kind of like orbiting my, in my area, following me around. You know, that shit felt fucking good, man. You know, just female, the female being in your proximity, man, that shit will make your day better. You know what I'm saying? And it sucks, and it's so sad how much fucking power that they have. You know, I can't get that girl's flirtatious look out of her, my face, out of my mind, because it's like been the first one I've gotten in so long. You know, and obviously I know, I know for all the haters, I know if I was chat, she would have approached me. I know if I was Chad, she would have taken her panties off right then and there and sucked me off. But, you know, I ain't Chad, man. I'll take that, that smile. You know, I'll take that flirtatious smile. I will. You know, peace out.